My number one hesitation before joining YSU is I'm not a youth speaker. I am focused on a more traditional professional speaking route. And I was very concerned about the fact that the focus here is about getting into the youth market. I reached out and shared that hesitation and Josh Shipp personally emailed me and said, look, 80% of what we're gonna talk about is going to be for you. And I love that. I love the fact that there's so much focus, not just on how to market to high schools and colleges, but how to position yourself in the market. And so that hesitation has been blown away by the fact that I'm getting 100% of the value that he intended. You know, since joining YSU, I've received a ton of specific results that I didn't see coming. I was writing a book when I got started and I thought I knew what I was doing, but I had no clue. And now after honing my message for my talk, it's also honed the message for that book. And now that I've seen this book and this message, this very particular thing I wanna talk about in the world as a product in and of itself, I think this is what I'm gonna be doing for the next five or 10 years. And imagine how many people I'm going to be able to impact with that message. The way that I would convince somebody that I care about that also wants to be a professional speaker to join YSU is to let go of their preconceived notions. It's time to let go of all of the noise that's out there. You know, I looked at a lot of speaker coaches. I looked at a lot of boot camps that are meant for professional speakers. And they really feel like get rich quick schemes. This doesn't. This is really about being a speaker because you're meant to be, because your heart's in it, because you have something to say and people need to hear it. And so I would convince them to pay attention to that and to recognize if they're truly mission-driven, message-driven, then this is the place for them.